I oh oh no oh no no guys don't do it don't 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 do it you're all insane hello and before this video starts I just want to say I'm giving away two of the Indominus Rex Spin Master toys all you need to do to be in with the chance to win it is to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and of course leave a comment down below it's that easy it's that simple so with that out of the way let's get on with the video da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Da, da, da. So, hello! I'm already reaching for the things, but I haven't really introduced what we're doing today. I'm the Game Beaver, and today we're going to be unboxing a- Hold on! I just want to say, you've probably seen the intro, so I want to say good luck to everybody who is going to enter. Of course, you need to follow those guidelines pretty carefully if you like the video. Subscribe to this channel! God, content- I don't even know what I'm saying today! Ah! Hey. And of course, leave a comment in below. No. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and that's the way I'm going to choose the winners. And I will be checking to see if they have subscribed to the channel and like the video. So you can't just cop out and only do one of those, my dear. But today we're doing something incredibly special. Um, I woke up to an email actually um, quite a while ago, and I feel quite bad for not doing this earlier. But I've honestly been swamped with work. Um, Spin Masters uh, got in touch with me and said, would you mind reviewing the uh, uh, dinosaur range? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, Spin Master, I'm pretty sure I've heard of those before. I've heard of them. I, I think I have. And as it turns out, they're the company that creates these um, robotic remote control uh, dinosaurs or, and other toys, I'm sure. Um, that have remote control, some of them, and they, they move around on these uh, sphere technology. A bit like the Dyson Ball, except for not a vacuum. A dinosaur vacuum, wow, that'd be cool. Ideas for your next product. Oh my God, that was a huge crow. We're all doomed. But I digress. So, um, they actually sent me a Indominus as well as another Indominus to unbox, but I actually already bought one to unbox ages ago and I just never got around to it. So I thought, I didn't realize, I bought them, didn't realize they were gonna send me them because they never got into contact with me until I'd already bought the thing. So I thought, why not do a giveaway? At this time, seasons of giving, why not give something back to you, the fans, that without you, I wouldn't be here. So it only makes perfect sense. So without further ado, let's get cracking with the video. So we're gonna start off with the smallest. I, well, actually, it's debatable. Oh no, this one's the smallest. <laughs> they look so cute. Uh, this one is the Z-Rex. Oh, that's right. Do you remember, what was it? The I-Rex? Well, Indominus Rex, but then it was called V-Rex or something like that. Um, and this is the, the Z-Rex. So we're, we're talking even more badass. So it's, it's got a little pop-up bone at the top there. On the back it says, Mini Dino, Big Bite, Fun, You Can Sink Your Teeth Into. Mini Dino, Maxi Crocs. Poor, oh right, okay, I'm reading the French there, my bad. So uh, you get like some instructions in the back that show you exactly how to use the thing. And this is make him mad. Oh, what, oh, really? Oh, okay then. Play catch, uh, interactive games, and it just shows a guy getting his um, his fingers bitten off. So <laughs> you gotta love those interactive games. And um, guard mode. So uh, push and play, response to touch. And it comes with, a, of course, a Zuma Dino chompling and a bone accessory as well as an instruction manual so uh that's the that's the first one we're gonna unbox i can't what i'm gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna unbox this one have a look at it so tell you what let's just get it out of the box shall we let's do that and of course remember kids if you need a knife or any sort of sharp thing get a parent's permission or even um have a parent do it for you because these things can be very dangerous as I have found out in many of my uh, unboxing videos and I've ended up with some pretty bad scars. Not, not really. I'm, I'm, I'm not that stupid. Maybe just a little. But from what you expect, I'll make YouTube videos. <laughs> so this is the Mini Xerex. Oh, he's such a cutie. Um, and the instruction manual that comes with it, I'm sure, because I'm a bloke, I'm not going to read. Um, and can we pull it out? Oh, oh, it's out. Okay, then. Never mind. Put that away, then. Oh, it's cute. Um, I don't know if it comes with batteries. You are going to need a screwdriver, actually, now I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it doesn't come with batteries. So that's something to note. If you're going to buy these, you're going to need um, to buy some... Uh, some. Sorry, I thought it was actually moving there for a second. Oh, look. 
Well, okay, so this... Oh, it has little wheels on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. They have little wheels on the bottom. I, for some odd reason, I was thinking it would, they were all on big spears, but I guess this doesn't really need to. Oh, that is cool, like I can move it. So that's how it's gonna move. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, um, I'm going to quickly unscrew it and uh, have a little play with it and pop some batteries into I'll be right back. So there seems to be uh, three things you can do. You can play catch with it, so you uh, you click its back button and then you throw it in the bone in its mouth. Um, the sound warp, which is, I think it, it follows you? I'm not exactly too sure. It says, play sound warp, press the back button, then cover nose for one second. Move your hand side to side or near them, or near then far from my nose sensor to warp my sound. Pulling my tail and pushing me back and forth will also change my sound. That's quite interesting. And um, the, the last one is guard mode. So to enter guard mode, press and hold down the back button until eyes are turn red, approximately three seconds. There are two different ways to use guard. There is a, uh, if we zoom in, zoom in. Um, so there is one which is motion sensor. More, I roar and chomp if anything comes close to me. And to protect, you can leave the object for me to guard. If the object's moved, I will roar. So basically, that's quite cool. So he just sat down there on the carpet, sort of lost, I know, in the kitchen. Hello, who's your cutie? So I'm gonna turn you on. I'm having to do this really professionally, guys, because um, actually uh, Whitney's away right now. So she's in, she's in America. So I'm having to do this by myself, otherwise I would have her to do that. Oh, hey, yo. You seem happy. So this, I'm guessing this is its default. So, I thought it must move. It must move. I guess that's the warp sound. I'm not too sure. So you have to press the back button and then you open the mouth. Ah, oh, he's ready. He's ready. So, uh, this is this is going to be really tricky. Hold on, ready? Ah, I missed it. Sorry. <laughs> Gives me a second shot. Okay. Ready? Oh, you got it. You got it. Where'd you, where'd you drop? <laughs> oh, you little fluffer. Yum, 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 yum. I don't think I did that right. So you click that and then you put the hand in front. <laughs> Who's a cutie? Oh, he gets happy. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so cool how it's motion sensitive like that. Oh, it just makes my heart melt. Oh, it's beautiful. So, and the other one is the tail. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah! Oh, so that changes its, its call. So, if you click it once on the tail, so that sets it back to normal. Oh, that is adorable! Right, so we've got a ball. So I'm gonna place this in front. And it's going to guard it. So we're gonna click and hold down for three seconds until eyes turn red. Okay. So I think now what it's done is it's censored so if anybody comes near it, it's gonna go off. Because there's no way that it's seeing that ball. So if I was to run my hand past it, let's try this. Oh no! He saw me! <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so if I was to move the ball, yeah, the ball, it, like it's now a motion sensor. <laughs> oh, oh, this is kind of cool. So what you could do is we could put them in a cupboard. Let's, let's try this, hold on. Ah! Let's put them in a cupboard. I'm just gonna move the dog food. So I'm gonna put you in there. 
This is a pretty cool idea, actually. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it in there. Right. Okay. Now he's stopped. So when we open the door, <laughs> he should roll. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. That's <laughs> so cool. We're gonna psych him. We're gonna we're gonna try to trick it. We're gonna open it slowly. Gonna work. Oh, I, oh no! <laughs> sort of detects something that's in front of it. So in this case, if it was a ball right in front of it, it would sort of it knows what where its sensor is. It knows there's a certain distance between this and this. And if that's moved or shortened, if that's varied at all, it will set it off. So right now it's sort of detected the door, and now it knows a distance. It knows it's about that much. Any movement and it'll set it off. That's so cool. <laughs> but the important question is, what does my dog think of this? Are you not bothered? Are you too tired? Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> he is not bothered in one bit. <laughs> oh, I've got something right. Okay, Basil loves food. Let's try something. So my idea is, this is the bone that comes with it. I think you can probably switch it out for anything. Um, this is a gravy bone. So I'm gonna play with the gravy bone with my dinosaur. Let's see what Basil does. Release the Kraken. <laughs> I knew you would pause it. So I'm gonna play with the dinosaur. So I'm gonna click it once. I'm gonna open his mouth so we know that. There you go. He's ready. He's going to play. No, no, no. You no. I'm playing with the dinosaur. This is this bone. Oh, 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 oh. Well, well. There you, there you go. Here you go. See, look. He's got the bone. <laughs> oh wow. He didn't steal it. I'm actually. color I like the um, the blue with a little hint of lighter blue on it so it is it comes like if we look at the back of the packaging it is basically the same it is the same one it just depends on which one you want do you want the green one or do you want the blue one but we're gonna test them both out and we should play with them together actually so I'm guessing this one's gonna be exactly the same in packaging so again this one comes with its instruction manual a little um, plastic tag to keep its mouth open and it's bone in its mouth because I'm pretty sure that without that it would probably flop all about and it wouldn't look very presentable now would it dear so it looks really good um <laughs> I'm pulling like a ribbon from it I thought that oh I see okay so yeah this <laughs> this ribbon that I've now detached from it is so uh, you put it underneath the batteries so if you need to get the batteries out you just easily pull the ribbon and it comes out but I was actually thinking that it was acting as a sort of splitter from the battery to the actual uh, toy itself, so it's, the battery doesn't waste all of its juice. But now we've now we've got a T-Rex that has um, a little bit of questionable um, string coming out of its uh, pelvis, which will be easily fixed when we uh, decide to put the batteries in, and it won't look too uh, questionable new. So I am now going to go and uh, put some batteries in this, unscrew it, and fix his little problem he's got. So I'll be right back. So now we have two of them. Oh, Basil, that was not nice. So, I mean, everything you can do with the X-Rex, you can do with this one. Um, but I'm curious to see. That's ba Basil. Ba Basil. I'm curious to see what happens if we put them both. We put one in one mode, like the, the uh, guard mode. And we'll put the other one in guard mode as well so that <laughs> it's like they're having to talk to each other <laughs> oh that's cool uh, 
I feel like I'm watching an episode of Pokemon where they just talk to each other. And they have no idea what the hell is going on. I think this is enough of this madness. I don't think Basil can take much more. <laughs> Are you talking too, bad? And now we're on to one of the big ones. This is the Zuma Dino and it is Jester. Meet Jester. He's a Jokasaurus. So this one actually doesn't come with a picture of it or a little hole so you can see it, which is quite interesting. Um, you can make him dizzy, hypnotize him, burp slash fart. Well, I've got to say, um, if there is anything I want to do with my electronic dinosaurs, it's to burp them and slash fart them. Um, we also have uh, perform tricks. It comes with um, a remote control that you can record moves with. Uh, that's quite interesting. Interesting, and you can guide by hand. It has true balance technology, and what I said before, these ones have the uh, the spherical technology. These spheres. Um, he's, look at that, new, and he's ripped new off wherever it was. I'm imagining it was somewhere on the box, but he's uh, he's decided to chomp, take a big bite out of it. Um, so yeah, this looks pretty interesting. It's the first one to come with a remote control out of this range. Hypno I want to know how to hypnotize him, make him dizzy, burp and fart. I, d I, I mean, I, it's the only sort of electronical thing I had was the uh, those little raptors. Well, you could get a big robo raptor, but um, I was never one of those rich kids. So I got the little version and the little version, you just clicked it on and it just walked. And then every now and again stopped, did that and then walked. Whereas the robo raptor at the time, I remember it actually being clever and it would know when it was close to something and it would turn around or something like that. And I just got a little diddy one that was like that, 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 that. And I can understand these, that like thing costs like a hundred quid. And I, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't that. I, I wanted it, but you know, you can't have everything in this world. You've got to work for something. And you've got to enjoy what you've got. So without further ado, let's open this really expensive thing. Hold on, hold on. Ah, I see you open it from the bottom, do you? Is that how you do it? Do you open it from the bottom? Oh, oh, well, I'd imagine because of its shape, you'd open it from the bottom. And it's got some little, I don't know if you can see that. It's got some little easy turn this way screws. So that's quite helpful. You ready, guys? Are you ready? Oh God, it's a lot of packaging. Jesus. Oh, oh, it's alive. We have life. Does, does the remote control have life? Hello? Are you awake? I feel like it's gonna jump scare me and go blah! You okay? You feeling all right, buddy? Ooh! <laughs> He's got his arms binded. Tell you what, I'll let you loose. Your little diddy T-Rex arms. Come here, you. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Okay, calm down. I did I mean no harm. You're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall off the table. Okay. You're gonna go. You can't tell what's behind you. You're gonna go. Okay. Are you what? Hello. Hello. You are gonna go unless you have sensors up your butt. What are you looking for? You looking for this? Are you okay? You having fun? I didn't realize. Okay, this this one, guys. This one comes with batteries. All right then. Ah, cha cha. Yes, yes. It's all very. I'm trying to do a review on the table. Will you? No. Stop sniffing. Oh, it got. You got purple eye. Okay. You're. You are. I didn't even know what you. Don't look at me like that. Tell you what, let's get you in the camera, shall we? You happy? Sat down all happy? You good? Che 
Jesus, this thing keeps on making really. What? Yes, you're happy. You're insane. So that's um that's enough of that. I didn't realize this actually came with batteries. So uh, this is the remote control that you get with it. You get a little square and triangle button. I'm really excited now. A plus button. Um, I'm not too sure what these do right now. I'm gonna obviously uh, put batteries in the remote and then maybe we can take control of it. It has like a little uh, joystick, if you can see that there. So you sort of roll that around and I'm guessing that controls the T-Rex. Um, as a square and triangle and this button and from the looks of it you could make your own sort of commands so you could sort of say okay let's go forward right back left and then record that and then it'll do those said things um, of course I'll, I'll obviously take um, a closer look at the instructions but let's look at the actual thing itself so it's very bright it's very very colorful um, it has it's it's got a very cute face to it. Look at that. Who couldn't love that face? Cha 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 cha. Ah! It, it, no, it, it is. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna sing its praises. So it looks like it has a sensor in, in the tongue, like a little, um, like a touch sensor. So if you put your finger in its mouth, then it might clamp shut or something like that. I, I mean, I've never ever had one of these before or seen or you played with one of these. So this is really interesting. There's a, I think an on switch on the back. I'm not too sure what that is. Again, I need to read the instructions. A cool little tail. The printing's very nice. It's got a very gloss finish to it. It looks very professional. And from what I just saw on its balancing technique, that blew my mind. I was all ready for it to sort of fall over or something, but it seemed to keep its balance really well. Um, we will test it on some, um, some surfaces that aren't like, level to see how well it can cope if you would use it outside or something like that um, if you it's, I'm guessing since it's electronic it's not the best case to uh, to have it outside that might just be me but uh, who knows <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna now put some batteries in the remote and test this sucker out so I'll see you in a minute so now comes Jester now this is this is one that I'm really looking forward to seeing um, because there is a variety of different things you can do with it. Um, it can, like, you get a remote control, it can, um, like, guard things backwards and forwards. And I've just done a little bit of research on the, um, on the menu. And it looks, it looks really good. These, all these, um, this one you charge, the other two, I forgot to mention, those two, um, you have to put three AAA batteries. And what's good is, uh, even the remotes, these remotes take AAA batteries, so you don't have to, like, worry about, if you've got AAAs, then these are the ones. Um, so I'm just going to turn this guy on and uh, I think what I'm going to do is just let, see what he does first. So, so there we go. Basil's having a good sniff. Okay. Uh, and then we, there we go. Okay. Now we should be just doing what he's doing. Oh my God. What? That's what you think. <laughs> What's making that noise? Oh wow, this thing's really good. Uh, we're, we're testing it on a carpet right now. And Buster doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. Makes some really cool noises. I think he's stuck on a circle motion. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to try and click square button. Oh, oh, I did something there. Okay, let's do square again. Okay, so square, let's do that. Um, let's try triangle. Triangle. <laughs> I don't think I like that. Oh my god. Oh, it's making some really weird noises. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Ben? Oh wow. Where did it go? Okay, so, I mean, that does that. <laughs> Scared the hell out of battle. Ready? Ready? Go. So triangle does 
triangle makes it like go crazy. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, now it's a cow. So triangle is call button. So let's try it again. Oh my god, it's a beatboxing dinosaur. <laughs> Hold on, I think it needs white eyes. Oh, 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 god, oh god, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? Oh, it went over the carpet. Oh, that was awesome. Without a single problem. Like what? Oh, that is... <laughs> that is great! Oh! So I found out that if you hold shift, which is this button on the top, and then click A, you can make him bite. So we're gonna do that. So yeah, there you go. Yum, yum, yum. And then if you... I, what's hold shift and B? Wow, that is an ironic. <laughs> Oh, who's your cutie? Who's your cutie? Oh god! Right, here it is, on some rough surface. So, wait, I need to get the remote control. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna have to leave it for a second. I've got it, I've got it. Yes, you, I know how to make you patrol. Okay, so we click it repeatedly until its eyes turn white. Uh, which one's white? I think that's white. And then we click a certain button. So, this is, this isn't patrolling in a square. Oh my god! That was not a square, what are you doing? You really don't want to pay attention to me, do you? Did you just die? I think I died. I think, I, I think the batteries I put in it were duds. <laughs> but there is a way to patrol it. But let's now try to do a Dominus. And the most anticipated one that you've been waiting for, I'm sure, is the Dominus Rex! Da 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 da! Doesn't look good. You gotta, you gotta admit, right, you look at this and think, yeah, that actually looks like Indominus. You've got the head spikes. Just even looking at it in the packaging, they've deliberately shown you this because they've taken lots of extra time to just sculpt it, to get the details right. You can tell, what, screw this, let's get out of the packaging. First, I'm gonna look at the back. You get a lovely bit of commissioned artwork there that uh, shows you with its red eyes and its remote control. It says that the Indominus Rex is the most formidable dinosaur ever to be displayed in Jurassic World with a name that means fierce and untamable king. Indominus Rex is a frightening marvel of genetic engineering from Hammond Creations Lab. Uh, real movie sound, so we're gonna get the actual movie sound effects. It's gonna be awesome. Um, it has a true balance technology, which is the orb, the, sorry, the little um, spheres. And even the spheres, you'll find, you'll notice, actually have the scaling that Indominus Rex has. So it comes with one Indominus Rex, one control bar, one control pod, one USB charging cable. So, charging cable? So does that, does this remote not take battery? You must charge it. Oh, that's cool. So you charge it through your PC. Um, record combo moves, just like the Jester. An interactive robotic dino. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's get this out, shall we? Yeah! <laughs> of course. Ooh, I'm getting hot taking this off. It's a big job. Ooh, there we go. Let's get going. Just realized something that the USB that comes with the, uh, I'm pretty sure the Jester as well, is actually for the Indo well, in this case, it's for this Indominus. Um, whereas the remote control, of course, takes batteries. We've got the same, if you can't, if you can't see, uh, the square triangle and that little button, and the uh, the roly little nipple thing. <laughs> we got a little Jurassic World logo imprinted on the side. And I gotta admit, this remote control looks a little bit better than Jester's. Um, it goes with it. I gotta say, I think Jester is more um, like aimed at kids. It's nice, bright, and colorful. Whereas this Indominus Rex, um, I don't know, it looks awesome. I kind of I kind of just want to test it for a second. Um, should we flip it on? Okay, it's on. Nothing happens. Oh, no, no, something's happening. Got the good old green eye. Of course, I can't control it, but I always like, let's do this. So, are you ready, guys? Green eye must mean go, so, go. 
Yeah, well, that's definitely the Indominus Rex sound effect. Don't do it. Don't commit suicide. Yeah, look at that. Look at that balance technolo technology. It's beautiful. 10 out of 10. Woo! See, you fell down. You fell down. Don't bite at me. I'm trying to help you. What happens if I wave? <laughs> Hello. Who's that cutie? Who's that cutie? Oh my god. Ah! Well, well, that was indominus. It seemed a lot more aggressive than the jest that I've got to admit. Um, so if we just have a look at its like sculpt, the sculpt is fantastic. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna get a really nice close up of this because you can't appreciate it without looking at it very closely. So uh, there you go. There you go. You got there. It's beautiful. So even on the tongue, you've got this beautiful sculpt. Um, all along the body is all scaly, the spikes, and it's got this nice sort of um, dry brushing effect where they've obviously just like taken some watered down paint, ran it over the entire thing. So where there's, you know, dimples and dints, it sort of gathers in those places. And that really um, sort of brings to life the scales and the sort of 3D, if you will, of the entire creature. Uh, it looks very like Indominus from the movie. You've got scales on the bowels, so it's really nice. It's not sort of offset, it's not like it's on, um, it looks like it's part of it without it being too obvious, like that's a sphere and it is balancing on them. Um, maybe they're just little tiny balls of Indominus. Uh, so yeah, I think in total, this is a really nice product. Um, again, I'm gonna take the remote control. We'll test it out on different surfaces. So I'm looking forward to doing this to testing this guy out. So I'll be right back. So here it is, the Indominus Rex. So let's see how many similarities it has to Jester. Uh, first I need to turn it on. That would be a good start, I think. I feel like it would be a good start. Oh God. Okay. And let's let it go. Oh, that sounds so cool. No, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, don't hit your head against the... Oh, okay. I think you've fallen over, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. Just the way it picks itself up is awesome. Oh, okay, okay, stay away. Again, no problem with the carpet. Oh, wow. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, okay, it didn't like my hand. <laughs> It's like so angry. Okay, you're sitting. Hello. That makes it roll if you do that when it's sitting down. So, are you gonna are you gonna move into my hand? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hypnotize you. I think it's sort of working. It's going backwards and forwards. How about we use it to remote control? I'm guessing it sort of handles the same. So let's try square. Is square going to make it go insane? Oh, here's the, here's the patrol. This is a square patrol. This one. So he goes around this square. I set his eyes to white and he's going around this square. So if I click triangle now, he should go in a triangle pattern. But if you hold shift, 
I think. Oh, is there no shift on this one? Oh, I don't know. Ooh, interesting. But now it's going around this triangle. Oh, now it's disobeying. Now it's falling over. <laughs> ah, don't bite me. So it went for it there as well. Hypnotized it for a second. And then it lost it. Grab your tail. Grab your tail. Get your tail. Oh god, he, doesn't, he gets angry when you grab his tail. <laughs> Jester didn't, but this one does. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, these are awesome toys. I don't know if Indominus can do the, uh, the patrol. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the angle if you do that. If you click just the, um, the square, then it gets angry. If you click this, I'm not too sure. I swear to God, the oh my God, that's cool. Flashy, flashy. Okay, 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 calm down. <laughs> so guys, if you want like a crazy thing like this, it goes around and you can control. This is definitely the one for you. If you like Jurassic World, it's definitely this one. I think the the paint job is just much better than on uh, Jester. And the model as well. The model looks awesome. What do you have to say, Indominus? Is that it? I feel like I'm, I made him depressed somehow. He was all lively. And then I and then I made him depressed. I don't, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> okay, okay. I can make him chew. Are you going to do that? Nom, 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 nom. It's going to nail you shot. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so there you have it, the entire line of Spin Master to uh, Dinosaur Toy. I think, I think it is. I don't know, I might be wrong. So, if I have to go with one, I'm, I don't know, I quite like Indominus. I like Indominus because of the way it looks, it's colouring and all that jazz. It means it's from Jurassic World. Look at it, it's beautiful. 10 out of 10 for model, 10 out of 10 for paint job. Uh, Jester looks really cute. I really like Jester because, I don't know, there's something really kid friendly about it and it's not as aggressive as Indominus. And these two, well, uh, well these two are pretty cool too. And I really like the, the whole bone thing and just what they do. I mean, they're like a, it's like a small version, but they have, then their own thing. They're not just like, you know, like a, a cheap version of this. They are their own thing. So guys, leave in the comments telling me what your favorite was and the reason why. I would like that to be the comment rather than just, I want to win them. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh, who's your cutie? Who's your cutie? Oh God.